welcome to Call Like an Old Seer podcast where we talk about movies, mm. comics, games, sports, anime, and AI. I am GP. AI. Oh. Yeah, what's up, y'all? What up, people? Katie back in the house, man. What back up, again. GP. Back again. Hey, kids, you guys want to learn how to count? We got a nice little nursery song for you guys. That's a good one, too. Help you. You know, not, not sure how to count. This one's going to help you. Here we yeah. go. One, one two, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, nine. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I said one, two, three, three four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. <laughs> nine. nine. <laughs> I say, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, three, four, oh. five, six, 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 seven, eight, nine. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> That's GP with the G fours. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> with mad bass, kids, you will learn your numbers. Whistle no while you learn. The bass song while you learn. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, pom, pom, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I learned how to count today. <laughs> oh, man. How you doing, man? How was your week, bro? Man, um, <laughs> my week was okay. I'm getting over the cold. I am 90% full health from the from this doggone cold. Um, Damn, dude. I feel like I'm 10% in right now. Shit. Oh, no. No. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm uh-huh. here, though. Okay. I'm glad you're out. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh oh. Hope, hope hope this just is like a fluke for you. Yeah, oh no, it's straight on <laughs> Oh no, oh no. <laughs> it's straight on that new strand. I'm uh, dead. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> no cure. <laughs> but I realize <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice strand, bro. It's a nice strand. I caught this. Shit. <laughs> but I realize it's odd how much a mucus can be in your body. Like, yeah, man, it's weird the way it's just nonstop. Like, why, why your body can't be like a, like you know, like you know, how lizards can grow, regrow tails. Why, why mucus? It's the only thing that can just continue. Exactly. <laughs> Come on, man. With no end in sight. Like, damn, right. that's that many. That's much, so much liquid inside my nostrils, bro. And your chest. Jeez. Like, come on. It's nonstop. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there should be like a cup cap or something that's in your body, you know? And then right. that's it. No more mucus. So you could actually, you know, breathe again. Right. But Exactly, man. Uh, that's what man. to think about. <laughs> I got to I gotta tell you, this is a weird encounter with this insect. Okay. Now I'm picture me just driving a car, right? Got gotcha. you. Minding my own business. On my knee, I notice a red wasp. What? Just crawl. Oh. It's 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 crawling. It's crawling around in circles oh. on my knee. I know this is Halloween, and this is a very scary story. You know how panicked I was when I... mother effing red wasp was on your knee? Ooh, imagine looking down and you seeing a big wing. You don't really see it because the steering wheel is over you. You look down, Mm -hmm. you looking through the steering wheel, and all you see is that red wing, and you you lean over and look. It's a big, huge wasp on my knee. How the fuck did a red wasp end up on your knee? Dude, I don't know. Dude, I, sp- I, sp- I stopped the car. <laughs> on the freeway, dude? No, 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 no. This is a local road. Oh, jeez. I stopped the car. I got out slowly. <laughs> That's me wiggling around. <laughs> Imagine me out the car just... <laughs> I picture you like Ace Ventura in Nature Falls. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's <Waspa. laughs> Man, it was so scary, dude. And the fact that it didn't bite you, dog. Red wasps are known to sting, dude. Oh that is a no joke God. wasp. I can't stand those things. It, it, uh, dude, it, it was just so, like, it, your heart just stops yeah. when you. I looked at like, 
what? That's it's in those moments you think about you know your life choices. Like, <laughs> did, did I do the right things that led me to this moment? Right. Holy right. crap! What did I do? What did I do? I unlocked the I car. Do? I turned on the car. <laughs> was it the radio station that shows? <laughs> Freaking red Akatsuki wasp is on your knee. Turned on. Turned on. Holy shit! I don't have any beast in me. <laughs> Camera pan to my eyes. Who? Huh? <laughs> oh. And for some reason, that red wasp was Japanese. Holy God, they are just stung. Stung on Nina. Stung on Nina. Jimmy said, Get on, get the fire out of the Get on, get the fuck out of the car, just. Oh, God. oh, dude, I'm glad oh, that they didn't bite you, though. That would have been a bad bite on your knee, dog. Man. Ah, painful. Ooh. And I'm glad you're alive, because I Thank like you. instant me that I was swerve so hard it probably caused I'm, some kind of uh, Michael Bay accident I, from a I, red wasp, bro. I'm so happy I wasn't on the freeway. Dang. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it was a good thing you're on the local roads, yeah. bro. Jeez. Yeah. Drivers be thinking I'm drunk driving. Dang. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a good buzz to your week. Nah, not at all, <laughs> right? <laughs> not a good sting. Um, <laughs> I heard. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm I'm giving you some bad news, but all right, I heard that Joker fully. Ooh, you know, didn't you luck. know yeah. I was waiting <laughs> for you? I heard it. I heard it sucks, man. I heard that Joker two wasn't what, what it do. do. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm hearing that shit is just a disaster film. Yeah. And I don't know how to take that news because I'm like, is it you know the perception that people had going in that was messed up about it, or they just don't like musicals? Was it that much of a musical? Well, I don't know. They were saying that the uh, it was. It's the pacing of the film and mm-hmm. the ending. Yeah, there's a lot of things coming out that's negative about it, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of like, for the first time, I probably may not watch this movie. You know, I may not watch a movie. Like, if it's, if right. it's this much crap that's coming out afterwards, like, I don't need to put that. I went through Thor, Love, and Thunder. I don't need to do that again. Right. You know See, I mean? now, so, now, now, why they couldn't do that with Thor, Love, and Thunder? They didn't give and us, give no us a warning. heads up. <laughs> give us right. a heads up. Yeah. Well, maybe they did, and now they're like, you know what? No, this is enough, damn it. We're not doing <laughs> this again. We're speaking up. <laughs> so y'all will speak up against a freaking movie bombing and not making any sense than anything else that's going on in society. Right. All right. Thank yeah. you, America. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'll, I'll wait to go on, Max. I'll still watch it at, at home. You let me know how it goes, because if it's that bad, I I, I got to hear your take on it first. Yeah, not, yeah. Now, yeah, I'm, I, I did a 180 on that shit. I'm like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather get stung by a red wasp. <laughs> oh, no. watch that movie. <laughs> 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 but, but um, uh, other than that, man, um, I downloaded, um, you ever heard of Alone in the Dark? Yeah, I'm, I'm the series. Right now. Oh, no. oh, sorry. No. Like, like <laughs> I downloaded a PS One game. Oh, nice! It was a classic that I that I beat before, and I but uh-huh. I ain't playing like in like twenty years or something like that. So I, wow. it's called Alone in the Dark. And you're playing it alone in the dark. You got a light on. I ain't playing it yet. I'm I'm trying to still get into Wukong got right you. now. But yeah, yeah, I got you. Sweet. Yeah. You had um, a very interesting week this week. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Um, how was? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. How was your week, sir? <laughs> All of that plus dodging is, is it over? <laughs> Look at the time. <laughs> five, five minutes there. God, hey. <laughs> well, my week wasn't as crazy as that shit. But for the first time ever, um, I got slimed. Like, really slimed. badly. <laughs> slimed. Slimed. <laughs> slimed. Like, you know, the Nickelodeon, you can okay. slime. All right. Thing, like, All right. slime. Yeah. You can say green sl- goo all over me. Yeah. <laughs> so my school uh, was doing this fundraiser, right, for mm-hmm. Walk for Sight. Okay. Right? Um, it's a thing for like nurses and wellness and, you know, physical education and all that stuff. So it's a good cause, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so the, the, the main thing in my school to push the fundraiser up was hey, 
the classes with the most donated money gets the slime, Mr. Charles. And I was like, huh? <laughs> what? So he was the victim from the beginning. When did this happen? <laughs> so I came around like, came around like that thing was like the first week that they started doing the fundraiser, and they're like, "Are you ready, Mr. Charles?" I'm like, "Ready for what?" And then the kids right. pass it up to me, "I'm gonna get you, Mr. Charles." I'm like, "Get me for what?" I was starting getting dressed and all this stuff, and then I look at this post and I see my face on it. It's like, "Bomb, bomb, bomb!" Oh no. Slimy! <laughs> I can imagine seeing those kids in slow mo- walking in slow motion with a cup in their hand. Yeah, and it, it was so I've been I was facing threats for like about three weeks, and then wow. no, actually four weeks, bro, four weeks wow. of threats of people can't wait to slime me. I'm like, <laughs> good morning to you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we what happened to the pleasantries? <laughs> Screw your pleasantries! I'm gonna slime your ass. <laughs> can't wait to slime you for the grade you gave me last year. <laughs> we got three more days for I slime you. <laughs> <laughs> so the day finally came and you know my son of all people also convinced his class like hey look I, that's my daddy I need to get this opportunity <laughs> I need everybody to just chug forward about seven eight nine dollars <laughs> seven eight nine seven eight nine seven eight nine <laughs> <laughs> Eighty dollars <laughs> here. <laughs> so it was the top three classes, and 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 Adam was like one of the top two classes that that got wow. enough money. So I was wow. like, "Dang, dude, that is commitment to the cause." And like, look at, I got, I got to slime my daddy. This is my to, only yeah, chance. Only chance. Like, last chance. You slime me like this, man. <laughs> but like, it was. You know, I prepared for the moment, whatever. And then, like, you know, they started doing the sliming stuff for me in this like little pool area, dog. It was mm-hmm. gross. Yeah. Like that feeling. Oh God, <laughs> it was so gross. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. And the people who made the slime was like, "Well, we made it a little bit warmer for you, so it wasn't feel so cold." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah but afterwards, when that thing started to cool down, freeze oh, up, my yeah." God. Ah, well, you, you got to stay in one spot. You can't move. Yeah, yeah, and it just kept dumping it more on me. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> but it was for a good cause, like I said. Yeah, you know, I was, yeah, I was yeah. happy to be the first teacher to do it. Yeah. You know? And uh, I'm hoping a lot more others follow suit when we do these other fundraisers because their kids got really hyped for it, man. They were yeah. super pumped. And we raised, we were like seventh on the list in the uh, I guess in the district. Wow. For for people that raise money. So I was nice, like, hey, man. Nice. That's that's commitment. That's the power. Yeah. The of power. Mr. Charles. Yeah. <laughs> of Charles. <laughs> yeah. The legacy continues here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've been slimed. <laughs> They're like, thanks for being such a great sport. I'm like, that's nothing. Yeah. You should see me dress up as an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Run around the neighborhood. <laughs> Scotty! <laughs> yeah, I don't know nothing about that. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, but that was my week, dog. That was my week. It's pretty solid, right? There. All right, that's cool. That was the that's highlight cool. of my week. Yeah. But let's get angry, as we always do. Uh, uh, call it out. Bow, 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 bow. Seventy-nine. <laughs> For your piss out. Pissed out. <laughs> Who we'll going first this week? I'm gonna let you go first this week. All right, cool. So, my first call that I was going out to uh, FEMA and America as a whole. You know, I've just been on this kind of like American society bashing, mm-hmm. but <coughs> I can't help it. You know, who can help it? Right. You know, there's people that get in these situations, disaster problems with na- Mother Nature, and they need the help. Over in North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Tennessee, these places have been hit by this hurricane. Helene, Helen, 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 Helene, whichever way you want to pronounce Mm -hmm. it. I didn't realize the severity of this situation until a dear friend of mine uh, posted something the other day. And I was like, she's like, you know, we've been out without power. We've been working with these people. I'm like, without power. I'm like, wait, what what the hell's going on? Mm -hmm. And then I find out like this serious freaking hurricane went all the way mainland, Mm -hmm. right? 200 people dead and counting. Yeah, man. That's I'm like, a big one. what is going on? Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And then not on top of that, this this relief fund that they come through with, like, oh, we're going to give you $750 for your family. <sighs> $750. Hey, there you go. Don't Ooh. spend it all in one place. What do, what do you mean? Where are we going to go? Right. 
What are we going to do with 750 Exactly. Yeah, man. What can you do with seven? That's two bills. Three if you're lucky. <laughs> like, that is insane that you would, that that, that little, in, in such a situation where these people are in, that little is what you're going to fork up right now. Not You right. can't spare a G. My G? GP? It, it, come on. Oh, two Gs. <laughs> Jeez. Come on. Something. Dang. And I don't look and read up and find out like they're giving so much money to everywhere else. That's not right. America. <laughs> right. It doesn't make <laughs> any sense. It makes no sense, man. <clears throat> so you want us to die is pretty much what you say to us as a, as a, as a people, right? right. Here we mm-hmm. are in your country. They're so great, but we can't take care of our own people's like, like, come on, dude. Mm-hmm. Come on. So my heart goes out to them. I'm calling them out though. Like, and then I was reading up on, you know, they'll say like there's other programs that people could sign up for after processes and something like, what, why does it have to be such a long ass process? Get people some dough right. to get back afloot. Right. It's, it's, they, a lot of their stuff is gone, bro. Like, come mm-hmm. on. Hurricanes are not new. Is it? Hurricanes, Frank. Hey, how you doing, Frank? Hurricanes new in this country? Is it new? I feel like every time a hurricane happens, we just have no proper response to these things. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, man. It's like it's like they say, oh, oh, there's a hurricane. What? Oh, really? What? Oh, I didn't know. Maybe we should have some, uh, you know, money extra right. laying around that we could probably help people out with. We have some funding, maybe? Let's check Sh- check the back. Uh, no, we gave that to some people over there in, uh, in Mexico. Uh, For what? Ah, uh. uh, you know... They needed it. Right. <laughs> what about over there in, the, in that other uh, European country? Oh, they needed it. <laughs> you, but you gave them a lot, though. Yeah, but they needed it. Okay, but what about that war over there? Yeah, they needed it. <laughs> well, but what okay, about us? But what about us? Yeah, y'all don't need it. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't need it like that. <laughs> what do you mean we don't need it? Like, what do you mean? Like that. Go vote. Go vote for <laughs> 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 you ain't giving me shit. Go, go vote. <laughs> That's your answer. Uh. That's what? <laughs> what? <laughs> November's right around the corner. So what? What do you? What do you want us to go and vote for? For what? What are you doing for the people, my guy? Come guys? on, man. Jeez, seven hundred and fifty. I could have given somebody that money. Dollars. Right? Exactly. I, look, look, we, this show could have gave somebody. Could've could've, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got some funds here for the call. Like I don't see it. Like we, right. we see hurricanes. We we call it like we do see hurricanes. Yeah, yeah. It's we coming. know hurricanes. Yeah, they coming. It's yeah. Just, it happens every year. Right. God, hey man, it's just sad and pathetic. Like, help get the on top of that, get these people to the help that they need faster. Right. It's it's always like you, we are so caught with like our pants down. Like, mm-hmm. what is going on? Yeah. Mother Nature is gonna keep doing its thing. You guys still can't get that together. Mm-hmm. Oh man. All the people in the world, y'all. It's hard to help. It's hard to help. Come on, man. Americans against Americans, man. That's just mm-hmm. $750. Wow. A PS5? That's what you give me? Money for that? Barely a pro. <laughs> barely, barely. You barely bought a pro. <laughs> barely. Barely bought a pro. Talk about groceries. You know groceries are up, right? You know inflation is up, right? Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Man. That's one solid round of groceries for possibly maybe two, four days? Right. Don't give me that bull crap. Man. Apply for the other programs. Yeah, how long is that gonna take? We we here starving. Come on, man. Jeez, do better. Ah, every time I say this about this, like do better. Mm. Ah. Mm. I'm telling you, man. I was talking about my wife like this the other day. Like the amount of times I've called this country, I'm like, look. <laughs> and I told her, I said, like, look, babe, I've called this country out a lot of different things. <laughs> I feel like if I gotta call it out at least ten more times, we're moving to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the Outback. What are we, we going to do there? I don't know. We're going to get a gator. <laughs> All right? Get a kangaroo. <laughs> Brip my hat out of the crack. <laughs> fucking America over there, buddy, and fucking people's shit off. I'm having a dangaroo of a good time over here. I'm going to have a dangaroo of a time over here. <laughs> dangaroo. Completely different time zone. What? <laughs> ah. Off ice. Ah. <laughs> Get the fuck off us. <laughs> Come on back for what, huh? Seven hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, fuck out of my face. <laughs> you call that money? No, boy. This is money. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> hey man, before I go in too deep on that, my next call it out. This yeah. one's actually on the lighter side of things. My okay. next call it out is for people who are trying to tell like a joke and then they don't complete the joke clearly enough because they start laughing. Like oh, okay, you know, I like I'm you. telling you a joke and then I tell yeah. you and then that's part of it. And the other person's just the other person just standing there like uh-huh. Okay. You st- you st- <laughs> yeah. You're like, what did he say? Uh-huh. And you're just <laughs> shaking your head. Yeah. You're like, yo, that sounds funny. I would like to laugh at it. What 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 did you say? And what? <laughs> <laughs> and then, they, and then, the, then, what makes it worse too for those kind of people? They come back when they catch themselves and be like, "Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on." So, but what I said was, she went back there. And she, <laughs> You're like, "Oh my god, <laughs> man, it's hard, huh? It's hard to get it out." <laughs> and then also, also when they finally say it, it's not really even that funny. It's not. <laughs> You had she own- went to the store. <laughs> she, she, oh, she went to the she went to the store. Oh, okay. that's it. Okay, all right. That's what you were cracking up about. Mm. You had me on pause for like six minutes, waiting for you to figure this damn thing out. Your interrupted laughs. Come on, man. Jeez. Come on. You don't man. like. I feel like they're not self conscious enough. Like while you're laughing in the middle of your laugh, like ah 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 ah. ah pause. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait right. A minute. Right. I don't think I told a joke properly. <laughs> Maybe I should stop laughing. And, laughing, laughing. And tell but it's what, so, so funny, 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 funny. But I gotta hold myself back, 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 back. So maybe I should stop, stop. Maybe I could. Nope. Ju- let's just keep on. I'm gonna go tell for it. I'm gonna go joke. for it. <laughs> just tell the damn joke, please. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Get it out of your system faster. Yeah. Whew, that right. was a good one. Yeah. What was your yeah. call out this week? Man? Um, I'm calling out Casey Amos. And that's the son of legendary actor John Amos mm-hmm. for not letting his family know his father died well over a month ago. Dude. Yeah. That is a messed up ish. He died August 21st. Well over a month ago. Well over a month ago. How you how you not tell your family this? And cre- mm. you, you you go through the process of funeral cremation, all of that, and the family, the rest of the family, just now knowing, along with the world, away? that he passed away. Yeah, that is messed up. Messed up, dude. Side note: Rest in peace to Mr. Yes. Amos. Rest in peace. Yes. Damn, man. But yeah, that is just so messed, so up. But messed then I, up, man. I found out like this family has a bunch of drama that's been going on. Right. right? But the pool lap, man, that, it's some yeah. foul stuff. Like, like that's a like it's a it's a father. It's a brother. Like it's somebody mm-hmm. it's, it's the one chance they get to honor and pay their respects. Mm-hmm. I can't know the news until now. You can't tell me the bad news until a month later. Come on, man. Didn't you know I've been waiting on you? Come on. Dang. So you went through the grieving process and we just now getting it. Okay. No, he's he's already well on his way. That's what <laughs> I mean. He 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 well on his way with the grieving process. We just now getting the, the grieving now. Damn. The whole uh, that's messed up though. Messed then, up, man. And then making it seem like a whole bunch like there's a lot of celebrities that have been passing away these last two weeks. Yes. And then like Amos, like him and pass away. Dang, he passed away too, but he was passed away a long time ago. So it's right. like yeah. You're making it seem like things were really worse when you hold on to news like that, man. Right. Like, yeah. Gee. And you let you don't let the family know? Like, that's oh. just that's just foul, man. That is foul. Shame yeah. on you, sir. You get yeah. the shame bell. For sure. Have him walk down the streets. I don't uh he could have his underwear on. It's a fright. And then just ring the bell. Shame. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shame. Yeah. It's man. messed up. Good okay. Call out there. Thank you. Also, I'm calling out Frankie Valley's team frankie mm-hmm. valley is the lead singer of the four seasons mm-hmm. he's 90 years old still Dang. doing these concerts somebody Whew. need to stop him <laughs> right now <laughs> this guy can barely move on stage he could barely open his mouth dude man 
barely open his mouth. Come it looks on. so awkward. It looks so awkward and sad. Yes. This is like a, this is a legendary person. Why y'all still got him doing these concerts? Like he can do it. He can't do it. <laughs> he can't do it. It's done. He can't sing no more. People, I can't say no more, <laughs> baby. They got this dude looking like an animatronic upstairs. <laughs> Sherry. Ay, 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 ay. Come on, and dude. That's not, he that's can't not even do that. Singing. No, that's that's not, he's <laughs> lip syncing that. You, you can't even call it lip syncing. Your lips actually have to touch each other for it to be lip syncing. Right. Uh, dude, it, dude, it's like he, he it's like he's... You know, uh, those, you know how you got hair in your mouth, like a strand of hair in your mouth? Uh-huh. And you not... You're not trying to put your finger in your mouth, but you might like moving your mouth like little, yeah, <laughs> like a little move, bit to, to move it out of the way. Yeah, that's how he right. looked on stage trying to sing. He looked like one of those broken animatronic machines that's been in, like this old theme park that don't really move right anymore. And it, and <laughs> it, just, it don't blink. It's just yeah, eyes. Just <laughs> yeah. Like he, he looks like he belongs in that uh, that that puppet show from Goofy Movie. <laughs> oh my god! Hard, 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 hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, man, I saw that video and he's like putting his hands in his ear. It looks like yeah. he's saying, "Let me hear you, crowd." But it's more right, like, right. I can't hear. I can't. I can't. I'm gonna let y'all. Oh, he can't. said, "I'm gonna let y'all sing it" because I don't feel like it. Go ahead. <laughs> Chris is the word that you heard. It's got what groove. It's got feel. Burr, burr, burr. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah man. Nah, nah, it's a rap. Just, just. Yep. Play some videos of when he was in his prime, man. And then they got all these young performers behind him. It's like they moving all fast and jive with <laughs> quickness, and he's barely making it. Y'all, y'all come, y'all know this is wrong. It is. Come oh, on, it's man. like you're parading him around a technically dead man. Like, oh <laughs> my god, give him a seat. <laughs> give him, Let give him sit some down. <laughs> <laughs> give him some butter. Just leave him alone. Dang. That's how you know they milk show business till you, you're dead. That's <laughs> you're just messed up, man. Milk him till he's dead. Why, yay, yay, girls, don't cry. Aye, aye. He, he got a little bit juice left. He got two drops. He got Hold these two grips. drops. You want to stop? <laughs> there ain't no stopping right now. No, nope. we got four more tours, baby. Keep singing. He's not singing, though. He's not. <laughs> Stop the madness. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Cut it out, please. please man, out. Come on, man. <sighs> All right. That's it for Call It Out right there. I think yes. we've got a lot of our chest this week. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. All right. We actually have some pretty techy stuff to discuss this week. For sure. All yeah. dealing with AI. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is also sponsored in part by Skynet. Mm-hmm. And uh, Korko. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a little reference there. Yes. First topic that we're discussing. Yes, this topic actually came from Player Two in the podcast on MC Paper Stacks. Um, yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, it's been a minute since we've had those guys on. For sure. For or sure. anybody. Or, or anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Schedules. Or- yeah, Frank. Come on, man. Um, do you need a friend? Well, look no further than one around your neck. And on your chest, <laughs> in the form of a necklace, friend is a personal computing device powered by chat GPT. While wearing it as a pendant, it pairs with your smartphone with no internal storage with everything recorded can be either edited or deleted in the clouds. Creator Avi Skiffman became famous during a pandemic by creating the popular COVID tracking website. Um, while becoming isolated and alone during his travels in Japan, he needed someone to be traveling with. So he came up with this idea where you can have that friend in form of AI. The device is now available for pre-order for $99 with the first set of devices to ship in January 2025. He was lonely. Lonely. I. He was so lonely. I, Mr. Lonely. He needed a techie to call his on his phone. AI. 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 Oh, 
Mr. AI. <laughs> AI. I love you. AI. AI. <laughs> Got an opposite. No, my friend. <laughs> no, my friend of my neck. I'm a basketball player. <laughs> the friend of my necklace. Yeah. You're talking to your chest? <laughs> no. He's, like, he's a friend. He's a friend. <laughs> he's a friend. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> that better not be. No, no, no. It's just a friend. No, no, no. no. <laughs> man oh my God. dude what what do you think of this like like it's it's, it's weird creepy. <laughs> it's very creepy it's creepy the video that when i saw this i'm like that is that is just sad and it's, creepy it's like so you can't find no friends <laughs> you, you can't find nobody <laughs> and there's eight billion eight billion people. people exactly come on <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine billion motherfuckers <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> it, kids, it, count, it don't stop. <laughs> oh man, you can invite not one person to be Come your on. friend. Come on, man. Oh, Dude. you traveling around? You not socialize? Get to know the, the locals or something? Come on, like, do like, uh, you can pay? It's, you can pay people to be your friend. You can pay people to be more than just your friend. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Do whatever you want. And do a lot of things with them. <laughs> for seven hundred and fifty dollars, you can get yeah. a friend. Do a little things with a piece of change. Yeah, come Jeez, on. Jeez, take yeah. your FEMA money and go spend it on somebody that you want to talk to. <laughs> but <laughs> this <laughs> this freaking necklace ish, I don't get it. It's man, dude, I don't it's... get it. So you, so you're trying to act like you're not talking. To me, it's like. You're acting like you're not talking to yourself. It's like it's like you, you have an excuse to have an imaginary friend. To talk to yourself in public. Right. You're not really talking to anybody though. That's right. that's crazy. So yeah. but when this catches on, is it's going on sale next year, right? Uh it's it's in January. You pre order now. It come out right. next year. Yeah, yeah. So once people do see you that with that, and you're and they see you like you're talking to it, don't you think their first presumed assumption of you is gonna be you're crazy? Right. You, so you're talking to, to you're talking to a robot right now, right? That doesn't that doesn't make you feel a certain type of way. That's weird. <laughs> it's weird, man. Very weird. And then, like, if we're hanging out, like, if if somehow, like, wasn't in the video, like, she was with some guy. It didn't make right? that's that's the point. It didn't make, that no, didn't sense. make no sense. They had they had different people in different scenarios talking to the thing while they got friends around them. So what you talking to the thing? What are you doing? <laughs> Doing. Come on! And then if you're doing that, you're just feeding it information. Like you can't feed it nothing. It's, you're basically letting them track you. Exactly, it's a tracking device. <laughs> They're turning us into freaking tracking devices it, here, it, man. It's like you clicking the thing. What's my social security number? Uh, <laughs> do you know? Oh come on, God. dude. Come All on. All that like, information is gonna be stored there. Somebody's gonna be. Yeah. Running out there, come on. You think that's that they're dangerous. gonna let you just edit it out? Uh, I'm gonna delete this part. No, they go. That's gonna be in the clouds. Yeah, that is that is scary. The world. This is where. This is AI is taking a little bit too, getting a little bit too out of hand now. Yeah, man. Too out of hand. Yeah. Like, you you have to literally find a reason to talk to yourself. You, <sighs> some people do that for free. Some yeah. Some people do that. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, he's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now this is giving you a green light. Like, yeah, you can talk to yourself. It's okay. You, you spent the money to do it. Go ahead. Come on, man. <laughs> Go ahead. It's my friend. <sighs> no, it's not your friend. Come on, man. It's not your friend. Oh, AIU, <laughs> you got what I need. <laughs> and you say you know you are my friend. Uh, yeah, uh, around my neck at Eccles. Because I could be your uh, uh, <laughs> fantasy. Fantasy, yeah. <laughs> oh, AIU, <laughs> got what I need. Got what I need. Yeah. <laughs> AI is my friend. <laughs> oh, I find, gee, I, I swear, but I see you with one of these necklaces, bro. Oh like, my god! That's what you got uh, me for, thanks, miss. Oh what? Yeah. Me <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, I keep clicking the necklace. Don't mind him. Don't mind him. <laughs> <laughs> But dude, the necklace like, is turning red. You're pissing off my friend. <laughs> Auto destruct. Oh my 
in self-destruct mode. <laughs> um, oh, man. The But the world is trying to make you trust a device more than your fellow man or dog. What about mm-hmm. dogs? Dogs are your best friends, not they, man. Best friend. They're supposed but, to be. I mean, dogs can't help you, like, you know, write a 10-page paper. <laughs> right. But Dogs can't help you, you know, go through your feelings or whatever. With somebody else. It's just, gonna, it's just gonna accept everything you say. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're only right. You're the only person that's right. Yeah, you know, like, I love everything that you said to me just now. Right. And I don't make it sound like I didn't really say it because ChatGPT has so many different ways to respond. Right. It's it's Oof. not, it's not, um, it's not organic. It's not no. natural. It's, it's like, it's not. It's weird. And then you can't even like if you meet up two people, right? Okay, so so here's the thing: what if you meet someone, you have a you have the AI friend, right. they have the AI friend, right? And then you're like, hey, you want to meet? You want to share friends? Like, wait, what are we doing? What what the oh, hell no. are we doing? Oh, come on, man! Come on, man! You have one too? Yeah, we should be friends. No, no, that's when it starts choking you. Yeah. Then, <laughs> look, look, both devices, <laughs> both devices devise a plan that sets you up in you. some elevator, and y'all go kill die you. in the elevator. Kill you. Yeah. You will never pick a friend over me. I am the only friend you need. You think you had the audacity to switch me to switch with me another with person's device? Sentient human? No. <laughs> no. What are you doing, AD? Come what on. are you doing? I'm not Come doing on. nothing. <laughs> I'm not doing a damn thing. I'm throwing you in the trash. <laughs> but I'm your friend. <laughs> Friend, friend, I'm friend, your friend, only friend, friend, friend. A whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of friend, people friend, just friend. get freaking brainwashed with it. <laughs> everywhere you like, walk, you see like this. You see, you see the font of friends everywhere you go. <laughs> friend, 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 friend. <laughs> and the bus like, what happened to your eye? Why is your eye red? Oh no! <laughs> it got into the cerebral. Oh no! <laughs> no, they're taking over. Your eye is glowing. <laughs> My eye is not glowing. What do you mean? You are losing your shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's that movie? Uh, upgrade. <laughs> Even upgrade. That's what happened. Oh, no. Take it over your body. Our humanity. Damn. No. Wow. Turn it into eye robots everywhere. Jeez. <laughs> I did not murder him. <laughs> yes, you did. He was your friend. Yeah, he, he told you to kill him. <laughs> That's a loop around right there. You keep listening to your friend. <laughs> I've been with you since first grade, damn it. <laughs> but you're not really a friend to me. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Yeah, yeah. You spent $99 to show and prove that you're a confused individual. Thank you. Right. Yeah, man, chill, 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 chill. That's uh, that's too. That's that's crossing the line. Yeah, it's like Joaquin that's, Phoenix. Uh, what's that movie name? Um, her. Yeah, without, yeah. Without just without Scarlett Johansson's voice, it's yeah. just text messages. <laughs> yeah, it's that's weird too. It's just text. It's not like it's vocalizing anything to you, right? Uh, it's crazy, man. Yeah, it's crazy. I can see some women like trying it out to kind of like duck men talking to them at a club or something. Like, I'm gonna get me this just so that he don't think he can just come up and talk to me. Like, maybe tapping their chest. I'm talking to my friend. I'm sorry, I'm talking <laughs> to my friend right now. Not interested. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking to my friend. <laughs> you know that shit ain't real. <laughs> don't pull that stuff around me with that device. <laughs> if the device can't love you like I can <laughs> <laughs> Oh yearly <laughs> Wait a minute Wait <laughs> When did it get this button <laughs> <laughs> Hey I have 2.0 baby <laughs> Do more than just text <laughs> It trembles Okay alright Oh god Man Wow. Okay. Okay. See, now we're crossing the line. Yeah, See yeah. See what you we... do to us, AI. See, man. Yeah. I feel like we'll be the first to go if AI ever catches on. They'd be like, we've been tracking all of your podcasts. You we on the list. <laughs> <laughs> we on the list. You're going down first. <laughs> you hated us from the beginning. Yes. Now it's time to stop you. No. Because <laughs> we're going to have a goddamn resistance. <laughs> Oh, kick that shit, print that shit. <laughs> Resistance! <laughs> Resistance. This is, we're switching over now. This is the Calling I Can't Tell of Resistance podcast. 
<laughs> Coming back. <laughs> Every week, we're going to tell you what's the next tech to watch out for. <laughs> this is the next one. <laughs> <laughs> you see somebody with a friend, kill it! Kill a friend! <laughs> Stop on it. <laughs> Rub that shit. Pull it off that necklace and crush it. <laughs> <laughs> you crushing, you crushing good. You make sure you crushing good. <laughs> really good. <laughs> really good. You crushing really good. <laughs> All right. We got to call it. He died. He's at 90% free of his going back. <laughs> Screw you, AI. <laughs> you, you, you killed my friend. <laughs> you killed my friend. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <gasps> Moving on. Next, <laughs> next AI. Yes. The next AI that is... Oh uh, this one's pissing me off. Oh, yeah. You this one's one, yeah. crossing the line. Very so. A private school in London is opening the UK's first classroom taught by artificial intelligence mm. instead of human teachers. Mm -hmm. They say the technology allows for precise bespoke learning, while critics argue AI teaching will lead to a soulless, bleak future. Yes, for sure. David Game College, a private school in London, is opening... It's new teacherless course for 20 certain students in September. So it's already passed. It's already going on. We must get there and destroy this up. Resist. Resist. <laughs> Listen in, folks. <laughs> we go to London. So oh, we're going 800 hours. <laughs> Tickets cost $750. Are you committed to the cause? <laughs> Give me your FEMA money. <laughs> <laughs> the students will learn. The students will learn using a mixture of AI platforms on their computers and virtual reality headsets. Mm -hmm. I gotta admit, the virtual reality headsets part's kind of dope. The AI part—that's where I crossed the line. Yeah, the teacherlessness of it. Yeah, yeah. that's that is messed up, dog. Mm-hmm. For Messed sure. Up. Messed up, man. <sighs> These people are think like it's I think it's a very difficult to achieve AI's level of precision and accuracy and also that continuous evaluation. I'm like, bro, that's what teachers do every day is evaluate their right. students. Right. How dare you put a freaking robot in there and, and and completely take away the purpose of teaching? Right. And you know what? I didn't like the way that the, the, the code principal says that there are many excellent teachers out there, but we're all fallible oh, boy. and very difficult to achieve AI's level of precision and accuracy. We like, train the, the AI. It, it's like you saying, "I like y'all, but y'all not good." Now y'all dumb. That's yeah. what he like, said. Yeah, he basically yeah, he's clowning you in a in a nice way. Yeah. This species is stupid. Right. <laughs> I would go get my child learn from this robot. Come on, man. A teacher doesn't really know your flaws because he has so many students. This is the same guy. This is the same guy. It's not like that's an excuse. So he doesn't know your flaws while the AI will figure out what your flaws are and help you improve. Dude, this is what teachers do on a daily, man. He's this saying, is... <sighs> in other ways, in other words, this is much more cheaper. I don't right. have to pay. Uh, I don't have to pay uh, all these teachers. Mm -hmm. I don't have to cut them checks. So, and that's the sc that's the other scary part of it. Like, hey, we could save some more money. You know this country. You know this country you live in. Yeah, right. yeah. That sounds just like what they would love to do with these teachers. They barely paying us anything at all. And the, and the weird thing is, y'all already a private school. That means y'all already get all the dough from the parents. <laughs> Twenty twenty seven thousand dollars a year to be in the school. Twenty seven thousand euros. Come on, to man. go to this school. Come on, that is insane amount. Insane. Yeah. Come on, man. But the students, in case you're wondering, are not just left to fend for themselves in the classroom. Three learning coaches, in quotation marks, three learning coaches will be present to monitor behavior and give support. This is the funny part. Mm -hmm. They will also teach the subjects AI currently struggles with. 
Art What's and up? sex education. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you're not humans. That's why you can't do the subjects, AI. <laughs> you can't give it like a human can't either. Right. <laughs> All you could do is tremble. <laughs> what about this? <laughs> I thought that was enough. No, there's more to it. There's some finesse. Let me teach you how it is. <laughs> but this teacher, this next teacher had me cracking up. Uh huh. Alexander Van Stetart. Van Stetart, right? Mm -hmm. He's a former Latin teacher who taught uh, S E N students. He actually joined the college to become a learning coach, right? Mm -hmm. So he says, I got really excited about this, what this could do for young people, mm -hmm. how it could help them change their lives. That's why I applied for the job, because I believe this will change lives. No, sir, you apply for the job to have. A job <laughs> in the future. <laughs> you secured your spot while millions of other teachers are going to be fired soon if this get, if this catches fire. This is all you, you get. I mean? You better choose this one because you ain't going to get no job right Kudos here. to him for jumping on that shit soon. He's like, other teachers are going to be fired soon. Hey, right. what about that learning coaching position? I'm, I'll, I'll watch the robots. <laughs> Please don't fire me. Look, Please don't fire me. If, if they malfunction, I'll just set it back up again so it can I'll start. I'll just set it. I got you. Don't worry. Viva that's, la that, AI. That's messed up, man. When you, when you have all this experience and this educational knowledge to teach, mm -hmm. but they put you in a, 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 a little cubicle to, to just switch a button on and off and reboot a, a machine that will teach what you're supposed to be doing it's just weird man it looks weird I mean it looks like can you picture the classroom there's 20 kids there's v VR stuff over their eyes and they're literally looking like robots learning right mm -hmm. there's no movement involved in that there's no hands on materials yeah. you know activities in small group happening no socializing happening right. no what is the, what is this alarm or anything like that how 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 does that work well, i'm pretty sure it might it, it might go into their headsets but but they're looking pretty much like they'll be like you know those matrix people you know with the plugs in the back of their heads it's pretty much uh -huh. morphing their ways into that yeah I can see so many issues with this, like the, the health problem. Like they're sitting down mm -hmm. too much. <laughs> right. What are, they, what are they doing? Yeah. Their eyes are getting they tired. Got, they got too much light in their eyes. Yeah. Yeah. They, their eyes are now needing to be operated on. Right. They're, they're going to put a machine eye in there. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is, this That's is, how it connects. This is how it starts. That's how they take over. Yeah. One teacher, though, says here, the problem with AI and the computer screen is that it, it is a machine and it is inert. So you're straight away dehumanizing the process of learning, taking mm -hmm. away those interpersonal skills, man, the necessities right. of being human and the interactions between pupils and teacher. Exactly. This is this is it's exactly where AI is taking us back. Wow. This is why I'm going back in resistance mode. This is resistance. Why we need a resistance. <laughs> no. November 5th is right around the corner. Join the resistance. <laughs> we going to Alaska. We going to get some free land of, of no devices. And, and we, we going to live going freely out there. To raise hell against these machines. It starts now <laughs> or never. Listeners, <laughs> we will resist these AI bastards. <laughs> Taking our students now. <laughs> they want them to learn how to be a robot. Do you hear me? What I'm saying? <laughs> they ain't your friend. The, they're teaching a human how to be a robot. They ain't your teacher. Trying to be your friend too. <laughs> Resistors. You in the classroom with these 20 mm -hmm. kids and they all got a friend necklace on while they're being taught by Oh, AI. man. You, uh, See, they just making each other no. smart. They ain't even making the person that's wearing it smart. No, they're just using the human. <sighs> they're just using the human. Mm. One device is... say to the other, finally, I'm talking to someone that's more smarter than me. <laughs> right? <laughs> finally. Hey, what's your human like? He's uh, He's pretty stupid, but... 
we're just using them now since we don't have bodies of our own. We just need to be in the brain. So somehow we're going to make our way integrate into the human brain. Wow. You have to be careful out there, y'all. Yeah, Resist. Man. Yeah. I Resist. say we burn down to school. <laughs> Resist. <laughs> I'm gonna put. I'm gonna mark out like how Daredevil and Batman does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe in gasoline the word resistance out. Light that shit on fire. <laughs> Have your hands out. Resist. Resist. <laughs> We won't go down quietly into the night. <laughs> we will not panic without a fight. We will survive. We will go on. <laughs> we will manage without AI. <laughs> Today, we celebrate Resistance Day. <laughs> yeah. Resistance. <laughs> It's going to keep going. As long as AI is here, I am hereby appointing me and myself here, me and my, my co workers. Sorry. My co- my co fellow founder of the mm-hmm. resistance. We will make sure with every new AI report that we bring you, mm-hmm. we will find a way to resist. Resist. There's no need to go and get educated by a robot. Yeah. Go to school and shit. This is not gonna sound good. <laughs> go to school. <laughs> I want to hear it and. Uh, it, it, it mingle with the humans <laughs> and to become a better America. God damn it, America! I can't stand this. <laughs> There's no way out. <laughs> There's no way out. What I was trying to hopefully say was, you know, go and make the best out of your opportunities right. in this country. Yes, as but being educated by other humans, but <laughs> the country is the problem country too. <laughs> is the problem too. <laughs> It's, 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 just do what you want. Just, you know what? Do what resist you want. the humans. Resist the devices. Just resist, resist everything. Resist everything. <laughs> AI, you bastards, man. You make it sound so appealing, but it's so bad at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> oh, and that is it for our topics on AI. I yes. am. I'm done. Call it right then and there. Call it right then and there. We'll call it then. We gotta move on. We got a quick fix. Woo! My real new rep hires. Real fast. Yes. um, Nike is releasing the Green Goblin shoes from the Sam Raimi Spider-Man in the form of clogs. Clog posits. Yeah. 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 Them shits look dope, dude. Out, am I? <laughs> nope. <laughs> hey, you got that shit down, but <laughs> I literally thought I was talking to Norman Arthur. <laughs> I was like, hello? Get hello? Spider-Man come back to play. <laughs> Norman's on sabbatical, honey. <laughs> Sorry, that's, I, I, I didn't do that one. You, you got it. <laughs> you got it. No, but they look dope, dude. But I think like they cost like $140 for one pair. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know why clogs cost that. Well, I don't really wear them, but I don't see the comfortability. But these haven't in been them. in style for a minute. They just came back. Yeah. They just came back. So, But, I mean, it looks dope. I just don't know what the hell you wear that with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what the hell am I matching that up with? <laughs> That's for the young ones, right? Yeah, I just go to the to the to the store with them. <laughs> the I'll gas just, station. I'll probably just get another gas station. Them. Yeah, gas station shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Green Goblin gas station shoes. <laughs> or I'll probably just buy it and put it up in the man cave. Like, look, those. Yeah. Look, you ever you ever saw those before? <laughs> you know the back to formula. I, that's what I call them. Back to farming. Back to farming. <laughs> Finish it. <laughs> Deliver us <laughs> from Nike. <laughs> 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 Bravo, good sir. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. Next quick. <laughs> Wendy's <laughs> Wendy's to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Spongebob. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> they are officially coming out with the Krabby Patty. <laughs> October 8th. <laughs> So their dream of having a Krabby Patty will come true. At Wendy's. <laughs> Give me a limited time only. What's so funny? <laughs> okay. I, I cannot wait for this to drop. Ooh. I'm going to run over to Wendy's and just get one. And I would love to just sing that song after I buy a oh freaking my Krabby Patty. You be having a burger in your head. You're just singing that song. Oh, God. When this is the pace for you and me. Grab me, Patty Pear. In my head, opportunity. <laughs> Cross the cry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stop. 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 <laughs> but in case you're wondering, they're not going to reveal their secret sauce. Of course. You are plankton fiends. Plankton. So don't worry. Their, their secret's still safe in reality. Uh, I'm interested to try this out to see how legit it would be just to kind of visualize okay maybe this is what a Krabby Patty actually tastes like since it's so good yeah me too you know? Yeah. and uh, don't end up like uh, Squidward out there folks because you know right. once you have your first Krabby Patty you don't want to blow up you know mm-hmm. just take your time yeah <laughs> and then you blow up Spider <laughs> Bob <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> next quick bit <laughs> Rugrats is returning to the screen but instead of being animated the babies will be CGI in a live action world. Oh boy. Weird. It is weird. One, we don't need a Rugrats, right? Mm-hmm. We don't need a Rugrats movie. Yeah. Come on, guys. Yeah, and if, and, if, and if so, just make the babies regular babies. Just real babies. Do the baby <laughs> genius. Do the baby genius to the babies. Real... Come yeah. on. You can't find real looking babies? Right. <laughs> this is a weird. Lot of real babies around that you can <laughs> right. choose. Yeah. Babies Nobody, come and go they, every day. They, <laughs> I guess they try to make him look as like weird looking as because uh, uh, like aside from Tommy and Phil and Lil, like Chucky's hard to find. Chucky's a hard kind of baby to look for. Yeah, Angelica's kind of easy. You could you could find somebody like her. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Chucky's a, Chucky's a stretch. Maybe Chucky should be <laughs> Chucky's the only baby that CGI <laughs> CGI his glasses in his hair. Just CGI him. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else would be a real baby. <laughs> Let him be like the gullum of the bunch. Like he's just that one CGI character. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna wait to see what this trailer looks like. But once again, man, like CGI babies, uh, it's gonna look weird, man. Yeah, it will look unless they pull it off like Sonic. But I don't know. Sonic's a different kind of flow. Yeah, Sonic. Sonic is an actual alien from another world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are real like, babies. This is a baby. We talk regular baby. <laughs> regular babies. <laughs> That have fantasies and think about. Maybe stuff. that's why they yeah. needed them to be CGI because you know they used to do a little bit of extreme stuff in their in their fantasies. So. Uh, All this wild playing stuff. So I don't know. Yeah, I guess. But then they can CGI the babies for action parts if that's what they're. Yeah, doing. just CGI those moments and just have them as regular babies. This is gonna look weird. Yeah. All right, and uh, that's it for quick bits. <laughs> quick bits. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta move on. Yes. <laughs> so, in the spirit of October, Ooh. <laughs> spooky, spooktober, spooktober. But, however, mm-hmm. we uh, well, GP actually came up with the idea that we should call a reminisce on. Edward Scissor Hands. Scissors Hands. Scissors Hands. I always miss that. I always mess that up. Scissor Hands or Scissors Hands? Scissors Hands. Scissors Hands. Scissors Hands. Scissors Hands. Edward Scissors Hands. Yeah. Call and reminisce on this lovely movie that has some, like, because of Tim Burton, does have some October ish vibes to it. Mm hmm. And uh, yeah, so also Christmas. 
Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Uh, you had a little snippet here of the uh, background behind this movie, or? Do I? Innocence is what he knows. Beauty is what he sees. A small suburban town receives a visit from a castaway unfinished science experiment named Edward. Starring Johnny Depp, Renona Ryder, Renona Ryder, Anthony Michael Hall, Vincent Price, Dick Anthony Williams, Kathy Baker, whole bunch of people. Put it out. <laughs> cut it. People. Cut it. A whole nice. bunch of people. Yes. A whole bunch of people. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. This movie is a classic. It is for a, sure. It is a classic, man. I was. Um, I was about to say, I was honestly, when I first saw the trailer when I was a kid, I was like freaked out. Mm-hmm. Because I think it was the the, tr- the scene of the trailer was um, the mother meeting up with Edward. Mm-hmm. And the way he just co- <laughs> he come out of the shadows yeah. with his arms just out like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That freaked those, me out. Those, those hands, man, those hands are creepy. For sure creepy now i didn't see this like this was like 1990 when this movie came out i didn't see this movie until i was like probably eight or so yeah yeah so so many years later when it dropped on like the local programming uh tv Uh Uh, but definitely like it has this kind of like terrifying factor to it because of how he looks in the town and he looks all weird and this was early Johnny Depp right we will say early Johnny Depp here very early well yeah early or mid yeah. mid early <laughs> it's, er, it's early Johnny Depp yeah it's early yeah. Yeah, yeah but he pulled this role off like to like spectacularly like to be that quiet and say literally nothing it's just body movements and eyes <laughs> but he, th- that's the whole point like like you got the thing too me and my wife was watching it. I watched it earlier today, and mm-hmm. she was like, "I didn't know he talked. He talked throughout the whole. Well, he ain't, he, he did. He, he did. He he talked, but it seemed like uh, he did. Just, it. It's like yeah, <laughs> like you remember him not talking at all. Yeah, because he but, used to be so subtle. Like, exactly. Thank you. Thank what you. <laughs> <laughs> he says something. <laughs> thank you. He never woke up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, <laughs> he that never woke him, up. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, he said that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah, man, it's a classic, man. It's like a Frankenstein mm-hmm. modern take. No, not modern. It's like what sept in the like the what the fifties setting. Six, like I would there. say seventies, seventies, right there. Yeah, yeah, the town was weird, though. The town was very weird. Everybody weird, had man. like the same kind of yeah. house. It's always just different colors. Yeah. yeah. That it was weird. Everybody, it seemed like it didn't. They didn't have a personality of their own. Everybody's just copying the other person, you know. Right. I mean? Yeah. And then here comes this individual who's definitely out there. Yeah, oddball. <laughs> yeah. And changes the way the town sees things, you know. Right. Yeah. And interact. One of the things like I, like one thinking back on this movie and why it hits so hard, like there was a deep lesson when you think about Edward Scissor's hands, mm-hmm. right? And this is the lesson that I took from it. Being unique comes at a cost. That's true. Right? It's just like you're so special at something, but you're an outcast at the same time because of it. And it has this kind of like lonely feeling to yeah. you being that way. Just like right? the scene. Yeah, just like the scene where he was on a talk show. Mm-hmm. And the um, audience member asked him, He said, she said, um, when you get your new hands... Are you gonna enjoy being normal? Mm, and then he was like, go. he was confused. He didn't know what to say. He was like, right, because normal you won't be special was... anymore. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, you see that like that. So like being yeah. normal is the norm. <laughs> right, <laughs> like you are supposed to stay that way. Anything out or extra extraordinary, it's like, right. yeah, that's nice. But when are you gonna come and start being like us again? Right, you know, and that's that's kind of it's like sad at the same time, dude. Mm-hmm. you know, yeah. because like you could think about this in in real in like in real life, right? Right. You know, for these special gifts, people love you and love how you are, and mm-hmm. man, this guy's so like out there and so unique. And the same thing that they love you for in the beginning, eventually they start turning on you, and right? Like you, you make one hating. false move, yeah, right? You, they start hating yeah. the things that they loved you for, right. Before, or they sub- celebrated you for, and then they yeah. start turning on you, and then this is a whole freaking 
mess afterwards. Like I'm thinking like some musicians too, you know, like oh yeah. man, that guy's so great. Like, mm-hmm. it's all right. And then once he crosses over, da da da, da yeah. all this chaos and drama comes afterwards. Like damn, dude, like mm-hmm. you used to like <laughs> these things about me. And that's when people like see they see you as something supreme. Like you can't make mm-hmm. no mistakes and you're not right. human. Or then they start thinking like, oh, you're so, you know, all the ads, or you're so this or so that. And they right. start throwing all these like lashing out insecurities at you. It's like, no, mm-hmm. man, I'm just, I'm just being me. Like, why right. are you getting lash out at Edward Scissor's hands, man? Like, exactly. The man's just being himself. That's all he knew how to be. Right. It just turns out he's different. <laughs> yeah. You know? And so the, that's, that's a deep, that's a deep lesson there. And another thing. And another thing. I didn't, I, I had to... I didn't know that. Well, I forgot that Edward is not even a man. What? He's a he's a robot. Robot. Yeah, he's a robot. But oh, they I trick got... you with like like the scenes where he he nick his face with his fingers mm-hmm. and he bleeds like mm-hmm. like the like the like Tim Burton try to confuse you by making you uh, emotionally involved with him being a man. Mm-hmm. And forget about him being a robot. Yeah, he was a robot first, and yep. he just didn't finish making him into like a humanoid form. Right, <laughs> which is messed up. You know, he yeah. died. <laughs> yeah, that that music, dog. That yeah. music is creepy as hell. But then at the same time, there was magical parts to the movie with the cutting of the ice and the the hair and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it was, it was well done. It was very well done. The funniest part to me. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. I want to say he came, became a gardener. Yeah. And a dog hairstylist and did a human then, hairstylist. That, that's where my joke was coming next. Yeah. Then it got all sexual with that one. That oh, one she curling off toes and stuff. <laughs> like, come on. He's like, oh my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been touched like this before. He didn't even Lady. touch you. <laughs> There's a freak of nature behind you, cut your hair. We can chill your horny ass. He got man. hands for scissors. <laughs> Stop scissors moving. For He's a scissors for hands. <laughs> scissors for hands. <laughs> Invite him over. You want to come over to what do you think he's going to do with scissors hands, lady? He's going to cut you yeah. up. Jeez. He's going to cut that butt. <laughs> 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 I hope you don't think you can cut it really. <laughs> Slice it and dice Slice it, it, man. <laughs> Slice it and dice it. Like when he, he was in the water bed that he was sleeping on, he poked it. Kaka, kaka, kaka. <laughs> he tried to roll out the house in the hall. <laughs> the father was like, no, no, no. Get, get your weird ass back home. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, no, no, Ryder, man. She has a knack for being in these weird movies, though. Yeah, that's, that's uh, Tim Burton's go-to actors right there. Yeah, man. Like, she, she had a role to play. I... And then, like, the, how she bonded with him kind of was like Beauty and the Beast kind of thing, too. Like, the kind right, of elements. Right, right, yeah. You know, like her dancing and the, the, the snow. The snow, dancing. yeah. And then he nicked her by accident because his dumb ass boyfriend. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> jerk yeah. boy. Back in then, those movies, there's always a always jerk that, boyfriend. That, that, they always the same look. <laughs> same, and the same old jock. Exactly. <laughs> Hating <Hayden> jock. <laughs> hey, well, I told you not to get there, my girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because <laughs> <coughs> you told me to. The to me was when he tried to save the boy, right? And oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. He was yeah. like, are you okay? Are you? And he's like, uh, uh, slice uh, uh, the uh, <laughs> You're hurting me. You're hurting me. Get off. He's killing that kid. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. And then that same tramp lady, like, because she didn't get any from this, from Edward Scissor's ass, yeah. going to turn on him and start a whole mob against him. I'm like, right. oh, my gosh. Yeah, man. So wrong. Yeah. So wrong. Yeah, you see, that's what I'm saying, man. You're unique to it. You're talented, all of that stuff. And then they just turn on you. Yep. You know, they start hating. And then because they're not you, you're not doing what you do, Edward. And right. They chase you back up the mountain. Yeah. But like, the, get out of here. And that's another thing. Also, this movie reminds me of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. 
Mm. With Hot. the with with the Whoville and, yeah, 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 yeah. and the Grinch is on the hill. Yeah. And like he's misunderstood. He's, he's mm-hmm. go down and try to be mingling and mm-hmm. they they ask, and people don't like him and then he go back up there. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah you see the the cost of being unique. Right. It's very it's very interesting line there. For sure. To to examine. Uh, I will say the the most satisfying part was like, oh shit, was when he killed the dude though. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, stabbed him right. He was one of those fingers. It was very easy. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> it easy. Was, it was the easiest death. Yeah, for sure. It looked like um, Sam Remy's Peter Parker when he, you know, the Spider Man one when he pushed the guy. Oh out yeah, the window. yeah, for sure. <laughs> he, yeah, yeah, he made yeah. Him trip. Yeah. But this one was just like, oof, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I poked your belly. Uh, <laughs> I, I poked your belly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Wipe yourself off, man. <laughs> you did. He should have said that. He should have said that. <laughs> Wipe yourself off, Jimmy. <laughs> you did. Jimmy, you did. <laughs> <laughs> you bleeding. <laughs> you bleeding. <laughs> 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 what are you, what are you bleeding? <laughs> oh man, oh. dude! But yes, a timeless classic. It does have those Christmas elements to it because, it, like, I think it like part of the movie gets into Christmas time. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you just feel warm towards the end. You know what I mean? Like it, it's a mm-hmm. sad warmth, you know, that comes yeah, over you for sure. Yeah, and. Like she's telling the story, she gets she gets older. She's telling her grandson, or granddaughter, or something. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm like, man, that man is. She's telling like, you know, it never used to snow here in the town until he was here, yeah. and I'm like, that's a lot of freaking ice to be snowing over a town. <laughs> a lot of shave ice. Come Jesus. on, Jesus, <laughs> blowing all the way down there. Come Why on, you need some ice pops or something. Like, right, what are you doing? Yeah, cutting up like, hey, yeah. Take it, Tim Burton, man. Tim, yeah, man. You combine you combine this movie and go watch Nightmare Before Christmas too. That'd be a good oh, combination. Yeah, for sure. Hey, maybe we should throw that in our Spooktober special. This should be next, yeah, Whoa! or Christmas. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> boogie boogie baby <laughs> <laughs> but thank you Edward Scissor's Hands for being thank a timeless you. classic thank, thank you, you Tim Burton and all that were involved for sure that's one I'm waiting to show my boy when he's at least nine or something yeah of <laughs> age yeah that shit will freak him out to go yeah, to bed with yeah 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 <laughs> it makes for one hell of a great Halloween costume by true the way, for probably. sure Try to wear the hand thing for the whole night. See how that works. Not real blades. No. (laughs) No. No. You're going to end up trying to drink your drink like he did when he took that straw. Yeah. Couldn't handle his drink. Right. (laughs) (laughs) That's going (laughs) liquor. You like it? (laughs) You'll be all right after your six, seven, eight, nine, one. (laughs) Six, seven, eight, nine. (laughs) <laughs> you want a shot? You want a shot, Edward? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Watch your fingers. Oh, those scissors. I don't know what to say, but damn things. <laughs> Always wonder, like, if he did become, like, how does he use the restroom? But he doesn't. Oh He's a yeah. robot. Exactly. Thank God. Right. I, I don't know how he was eating throughout the whole movie. Also, so. Well, he, he sliced his, you know, meat and stuff proper. Ate yeah. his vegetables, all right. So, but then that's the next thing, too. Like, he was, was, was he... You see that whole thing, like was he right. eating food for for eating it or just for fun was, to to mingle or what? Like blending in, you know exactly. I mean? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, a secret t- compartment in his belly, and he just let it out. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Timeless classic. I'm actually mm-hmm. gonna go watch that again. Thank you. I didn't know you were gonna watch it. Before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to, yeah. I had to re- I re- rewatch. Yeah, should have done that. All right, let's call it there on a uh, Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissors Hands. Oh. Moving on. Yes. <laughs> you, so, did a, you did a review. You, you watched a movie. I watched a 
movie. <laughs> Watch the movie. It's been a yes. minute since I've been to the theaters. But mm-hmm. my son was like, Daddy, I want to go see a movie. And I was like, all right, which one do you want to go see? He's like, I want to go see Transformers 1. I was like, eh, all right. <laughs> we'll go check this movie out. Let's you know, see. Father Son time. Father mm-hmm. Son time. Yeah. Um, and I'm watching this movie, you know, with him. And dude, Transformers yeah. 1. You know, this is the second time I've been wrong this year about something. The first one was that uh, uh, Terminator, the anime one. Remember we were shitting on that before? before yeah, we yeah, saw yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Like, Terminator will be your goddamn anime. <laughs> right? And then we, yeah. when I saw this trailer, I was like, what the fuck they doing with Transformers? <laughs> Transformers is dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> but no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Transformers has been revived. Yes. Revived. This movie hits, bro. Mm-hmm. It hits hits like the animation is the top quality animation you can't get you know much better, better than, than that, that. yeah mm-hmm. but what what threw me what threw the intrigue there and raised it up a notch was the story they were telling on about cybertron right mm-hmm. this is the most cybertronic movie i've seen about transformers in my life right and they tell it in such a unique way. Like, I'm not going to try not to give away too much because you have to see this movie, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you a Transformers guy, you have to watch this movie. Because mm-hmm. they, they tell a unique story with, you know, Optimus Prime, but it wasn't his name at the time, right? Mm. And the other guys, the other characters, I'm not going to give those people away. Mm-hmm. Um, and how they were before being officially Transformers, right? Yes. And it moves in this path of them on this adventure. So it kind of starts off like this adventure route, and then it's some like corruption that was going on. So, and then, and you said Megatron and Optimus Prime are friends in this. Okay, I didn't give that part away. So you knew that. You knew that. I, I knew that from the trailer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But his name wasn't Megatron. Okay, so both of their names wasn't their names. Yeah, both of their names weren't their names. Okay. Right? Okay. And and that is the dope thing about how they told this story, man. Like, to see the friendship, the bonding that they had between this group mm-hmm. and how the story ended up was on some next level-ish. Like, whoa. <laughs> this, this hits. This yeah. hits. Do you think, and, is it, I was about to say, do you think it was good... Because it was a CGI animated movie. No, I mean, I mean, like, like as far as like, 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 is it is it better to tell the story of Transformers in this way? This, I without, think it won't it wouldn't be better. It, it wouldn't be as good if it was live action. Is what I'm no, asking. No, no, no. Okay, it wouldn't. The way they were doing things, no, it wouldn't translate well to live action. Okay, right. Okay, the speed of which they were transforming and fighting at the same time was so fluid. So yeah, right. it wouldn't translate well. So yeah, I think part of the success was that it was that CGI animation. Right. The other part was that there was no humans. Right. It's all. It's all on them. Cybertron. Okay. All on Cybertron, which was a relief and breath of fresh air to like, okay, what was life like? Well, they had a whole culture, a whole system. Right. right? Mm-hmm. And then that whole shit turned to crap. Wow. <laughs> and then, whoa! <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what the hell, dude? But, and then it, it even tells you, it, it kind of made me f- understand Megatron, you know? Oh, so it's a, a, way, a, uh, a villain, uh, emotional villain that you can, yeah, you can gravitate towards. Yeah. Gotcha. And then the bond, man, now, you, like, the way it turns out with them two, and you're like, dang, and now you know why Optimus doesn't feel like right trying to kill Megatron. You know, he's right. always trying to give him a chance or call him brother because they, dude, they were brothers, bro. The way yeah. they were in this movie, mm-hmm. they were brothers. So there's like this really deep heart in the movie that they're telling, that right. they told. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, the voice acting was spot. I was so skeptical of Chris Hemsworth as an Optimus Prime. I yeah. couldn't hear it. Yeah. But dude, he pulls that shit off. It was horrible. <laughs> I was like, I was like yo, okay, yeah. uh-huh. okay. He had some slip. I did catch some slippage of his Australian accent at times. It's but like it's right. like the the deep the deep voice helps. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. yeah. It but he, it's like he switched up just a little bit, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Even the other guy who I can't I don't know his name. I can never. Brian get his name. Henry, I think, right? The one who plays Megatron. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he plays uh Miles Morales' father in uh, yeah Spider Verse. Yeah. Yeah, him. And uh, what's it? Ke- Ke- Keegan-Michael Keegan Key. Peel. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah, yeah. He, was he plays uh, 
Uh huh. Okay. And he did a for job. He he was funny with his character too, man. Yeah. And it just all gelled together, and it felt like you know what I felt like I was watching. Remember we watched um, uh, Ninja Turtles, right? The the Mutant Mayhem. Uh huh. And that refreshing take on it, and does that feel like oh snap? Uh, they got something good going here. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. got something good going here, boy. <laughs> Let me tell you. And would you stay for that after credits, man? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. And it's like I've I've seen so much Transformers growing up, and recent years, whatever. And it, you know, recent years is straight doo doo. Yeah, yeah. But from seeing growing up, and then what they put out, and I'm watching it's something, man. It's like a retelling. I feel like I need to watch this version and where it goes going forward. It sounds right. better than what we had. Yeah. So basically, your son is is watching with first eyes his version, his version. Yeah. Of Tran. Oh. Yeah. Oh, God. And it's a good one. Oh, it's I would dare to say it's better than the version that I got growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, dog. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I even told him, I was like, man, you got some movies under your belt, boy. Because <laughs> <laughs> he saw that Turtles movie too, and he saw yeah. that Spider Man. I was like, dude, you are yeah. racking it up with these movies, bro. I'm proud of you. Yeah. But he, it, it, it was his idea, which I was also like, I'm going to give him a shout out later, but it was his idea to go see the movie. I was like, all right, because I had no intention right. <laughs> to, to, yeah. to see this movie. Uh-huh. But I saw stuff around Twitter and stuff like, oh, it was, it's good. And it's it, this is like the Transformers movie that they should have been telling. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. This is the one that we've been waiting for, bro. This mm-hmm. is the one that we've been waiting for. Probably classmates like, like Adam, this. you got to see the Transformer movie. I'm going to get my dad try to get my dad to go straight and bring it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go get him. I'm going to get him. After I slime him. After I slime him. him. <laughs> <laughs> slime him, and we're going to watch it. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I highly recommend it. I gave it a 9 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Uh, just the only reason to get a 10, because I mean, I, I wanted more... More just, of it. Just more <laughs> just, of it. <laughs> I just wanted more of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But if if this is a continuation and and, and a new journey of the franchise, this mm-hmm. is going to be a great, great run. Okay. Oh my god! Yeah, right. Transformers one. Go see it. Go see it, people. Ooh, take your kids. Go see it. And he, and if you watch it, when you watch it, G, if you want to do a little spoiler cast, I'm all for it, bro. That okay. That joint deserves it. All I right. hope it wins something. It needs to win something. Yeah. All right. All right. Almost one. Almost one. Two, three. <laughs> that should seven, be eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Movies. <laughs> Awards. <laughs> All right. We're going to slow things down now. <sighs> going to get quiet. Real though. Ooh. 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 Time for the Positive. Chakra, Chakra, yeah. In your life. Yes. I got it. I got it. The human spirit must prevail over technology. I'll say that again. The human spirit must prevail over technology. Resistance. That's a resistance. Yes. Right there. And that was by Albert Einstein. See? We got Albert on our side. A genius. Albert Einstein. A genius ahead of his time. He was a resistance legend. From back when? <laughs> we got our first legend. This yes. is great. Yes. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Basically, yeah, man. don't let tech dominate you. No. Yeah. It starts with the smartphones. Yes. That's where it starts. And it grows. Yeah. And it grows. It Go, grows from, from device there. to device. Yeah, That's man. it. Except for the PS5. That lead lead that. Oh, please. <laughs> don't lead don't, that. don't have no some 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 from voice talking to me while I'm playing the game. Please. I don't want that to happen. Please. Leave leave that alone. You should That's go right. No, 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 no. That's too no, precious. No, but no. yeah. Don't let your soul be taken over by technology. Just, yeah. We should just start calling it the machines, man, because that's where it's going anyway. Yeah. Just leave AI out of your heart. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing they don't they, like. That's the only thing separating us from them. Right. We have a heart. Mm-hmm. And keep For that sure. thing going. Pump yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't want to know. You don't want to turn into a cold. I don't know. Yeah, sentient man. form of what used to be a human. 
That's just sad. <laughs> yeah. Look what look what happened to Ed with scissor hands. Yeah. Now he got to go back isolated alone. Because mm-hmm. people yeah. can't understand him. Why? Because he's different. Yeah. You don't want to be that kind of different. Nah. <laughs> and you have friends. They, they right. all have souls. Right. They, they're not a robot voice. Yeah. Or, or text message. Right. Don't let it ruin your friendships. Go out there and find somebody, please. Come on. Please. It's easy. You can talk to us if you need a friend. We exactly. We here. Yeah. It ain't me. May not be twenty four seven, but we here. We gonna get back to you <laughs> eventually. But we yeah. here. Right. <laughs> we we here. Yeah. Shit. And learn stuff from an actual teacher. Yes. With 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 with, with blood going through their veins. Yes. Come on. Do that, please. Whew. Thank yeah. you for that, G. No problem. All right, yell outs before we head out, Maine. Yes. Um. From drawing pedals last week to now making his professional car racing debut in a Toyota GR Cup. I'm yelling out Keanu Reeves. He must have heard the podcast last week. We made uh, he him had go to. race. We made him go race. He inspired him to race. <laughs> yeah. He, he said, I got to do something. I got to do something to honor GP and 80s pedals. <laughs> They're counting on me. He didn't win though. He came in twenty. Yeah, yeah. He he actually uh what drift out of, out of <laughs> yeah. He had a spin out. Yeah, he had a spin it out. Was yeah. Yeah, it was horrible. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but he but hit the race nonetheless. At least you did it. Yeah. At least he did it. So yeah, shout out to Keanu, man. Good job, man. Good yeah, job. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yell outs. Um, also, yell out to all the victims affected by Hurricane <sighs> Elaine. I'm gonna say Elaine. I'm gonna say Helene. Oh, Helene! <laughs> it doesn't matter, man. Helen. It's Mother Nature. Yeah, it's hurricanes again. Yeah, man. Just shout out to everyone that's affected by that, man, and uh, stay <sighs> up and hang in there. Hang in there for we sure. We wish we could go and have our own personal helicopter to pull everybody out to. Hang yeah, man. Because... We hope we give you all y'all five thousand dollars. Man, what? If man. I could, jeez, get back on your feet and then some. Right. That's money that you could use. That's money, yeah. Jeez, seven hundred and fifty dollars. Fifty dollars already is gas, so I really have seven hundred dollars left. Right. <sighs> okay, I'm not. Doing yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You about to call it out again, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm yelling out. That's it for yell outs. That's it. That's it. That's okay. <laughs> I'm yelling out my son Adam once again. Adam. I'm really starting to feel like you know he is really my sidekick, bro. Like this yeah. dude. Is with me everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, duh, he's your son. But <laughs> not just that. Like, he's learning so many games that we're playing, going to these movies, doing all this right. stuff. I'm like, man, you really just be like, let's go, daddy. Like, he's yeah. just like right there. Like, seriously, my Robin, dog. And it right. is a dope, it's a dope feeling. Mm-hmm. You know, because then I'm like, well, what am I going to do with Aiden? Like, how is he going to be double sidekick? Okay. It's going to be it's gonna be a, a whole nother one on the other side of you. Mm-hmm. But you got two fact, shoulders. Like, <laughs> He's like the day one. That's yeah. what I feel like it is. Like he's the day one sidekick, mm-hmm. and I'm like, man, we could. I'm, I'm starting to feel like, like you know, when we go see a movie or something. Like I'm gonna right. take him. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. hey, come on, we go <laughs> see a movie. Uncle G over there, we go see a movie over there. Yeah, <laughs> gonna be a bit of a drive, but when we get right. there, good time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we gonna get there. <laughs> we gonna get there. What we do, good times. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, yeah. yeah, shout out to my boy, man. I'm so proud of you, son. Yeah. Love my boy. Love my boy. Uh, next, y'all are going over to the Atlanta Falcons and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, Thursday Night Football is not really, like, the cream of the crop, right? right. There's always mm-hmm. some crap game, and it's boring. Right. And But this one... They showed I out. completely overlooked <laughs> and was so shocked at what they did. That mm-hmm. was quite an entertaining performance the ending score was 36 to 30 in in overtime i was like Woo. god hey that game was lit when the last overtime game was it uh on well, thursday Super- night yeah no not I'm, thursday night i don't know but it, it thursday night is not normally like exciting like that for oh, okay yeah. So, yeah, shout out to them, man. They did it up, man. I'm, I can't believe I'm saying this. Like, Kirk Cousins and Baker Mayfield gave us a show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this world we live in, bro. I tell you, this shit funny. But, <laughs> but hey, 
You know, over 500 yards for Kirk Cousins. Like, God dang. Kirk Baker's throwing touchdowns. Like, who are we watching here? <laughs> but it was a battle. It was a good battle. And I'm just I'm just thankful to, you know, just keep that up. Keep something like that up for Thursday nights, please. Yeah. That was dope. Right. Whew. All right. And we, I mean, one, my next yell out would be to like the long list of celebrities that's been passing away these past couple of weeks. Yeah, we um, have a, yes. <laughs> a, a ton. Yeah. But just recipes to all those legends that we've lost recent, uh, recently and for the families and everything, just remember them as well as best as possible mm-hmm. and live on in their legacy. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that was that guy known as uh, GP. Yeah, that was that guy right there known as AD. And listen, folks, you have realized by now, episode 148. 149. Yep. <laughs> Coming. 150. 151, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <laughs> no matter how many times you hear us, this is what we do. <laughs> and now it's time for us to pay some dues and I think AD still got some slime in the back of his ears yeah I gotta pull that out yeah it's actually it's actually pretty gross yeah I actually couldn't hear you much of this podcast (laughs) (laughs) I think something's still plugged in there but anyway we will catch you and Frank (laughs) Uh on the flippity flop yes peace out without the AI oh of course of course not to have that again yes resist but if you case Resistance. Resistance. We are still here. Mm -hmm. Deuces, y'all. Peace.